Good morning. I'm Bill Griffith. And I'm Laura Buxton. And it's Thursday, the first day of November 1990. Also this morning, a Ramona man with the steadiest hands in the county. He has to have steady hands to do what he does. Do you ever notice those fancy razor-thin pinstripes that you see on the sides of so many automobiles these days? And have you ever wondered if those pinstripes are done by machine or freehand? And if by hand, who has one steady enough to do the job? Well, automobile artist Lyle Fisk of Ramona does. One of a hand handful of professional pinstripers and creators of vehicle arts in the nation. I have people ask me all the time what I do for a living and I have to tell them that I stoop over and walk backwards. The one nice thing I like about my job is when I start on a car they bring it to me completely painted. Everything is finished and I do the icing, uh, so to speak. I do all of the things that it takes to enhance the car after it's painted. The research is extremely important when you're doing a car like this because if you don't do it the way it was done originally, it takes value away from the car. So I spend a lot of time doing research, getting everything back like it was originally. And once I'm finished with the black, then I have to come back and pull a gold line right next to all of the black. Now, if you think Lyle's particular skills are just for application on classic cars or hot rods, think again. That steady hand has embellished everything from fire engines to what are curiously referred to as automatic musical instruments. Lyle showed us a private collection of these remarkable pieces. process of restoring these organs, uh, it's, it, it takes a lot of time and a lot of research. And we want to bring them back to get them as nice as they were originally, because we know that originally they did attract a lot of people. And originally they made a lot of fine music, and they were beautiful for the people to see and hear. We need to always do as much research as we can on each machine to make it look as authentic as we can for that period that, that machine was made in. This particular Dutch street organ had pictures of naked ladies on it because it was in an area where that was fairly prominent. And so we redesigned it and redid it for the individual likes of the owner. To achieve uh, the effect and bring it to its original condition, required everything from gold leaf to silver leaf applications, airbrush, toners, and uh, just meticulous hours of, of close attention to detail. And you do the same detail over and over, no matter how large or how small the facade. Fortunately, on a piece this size, it comes completely apart. This, after it's assembled, is 22 feet long and 18 feet tall. It just so happens on this particular uh, facade, uh, I was engaged in everything that I do in my trade, from pinstriping to the gold leaf to airbrush to murals to stencil. Everything that I do in my trade is all on this one piece. Wow. You know, Lyle is so well known. He's had people drive to his business in Ramona just to get him to put that little tiny trademark signature on their cars. Uh, and, and he won't do it, of course, unless he does the whole job. He does come into San Diego once in a while, we understand, just for sushi runs, okay? <laughs> what <laughs> a character. sushi bar in Ramona, huh? No, I guess not. What a fabulous artist he is. Ah, and steady. Oh, he should be a surgeon, too, you know.